our premise of our project is that if we can equip people both to be more emotionally aware of how they're responding to people and situations, and then also more historically and kind of uh, ethically literate uh, in what it actually means to make your way in American life, um, we can make civic life uh, better. You know, we know from history that hatred unchecked is problematic to the nth degree. But we also know from history that avoiding disagreement is equally problematic. We have to listen to other people and partner with other people. It's really important. The goal in reinstating civility or in getting people to listen to each other is to help them make better decisions together that affect their lives. In the next year, we want to hold five events in different locations across the country in which we can actually be experimental with what it looks like to have a better arguments event conversation experience. And we explore what does it really mean to be an American and how can we sustain a coherent sense of identity and a healthy civic life. If you had a blank slate, how would you want to design these gatherings and invite people in from the community. One of the ways is to start with really honest conversations and to create psychologically safe spaces for people to define it the way they want to. So building bonds of trust. How can you quickly and in an effective way build up enough trust that you're facing a human being and they're facing you, not a stereotype? The Better Arguments Project has as its foundational layer that to have a better argument means to really commit to deep listening full body listen. But it has to function in contract with the person yeah. that you are listening to being willing to listen to you as well. If I'm going to have a chance to change your mind, you've got to have a chance to change mine. I really want to hear <laughs> from teenagers, what is it like to be you? right now in this environment. One of the things that we've been doing is holding brainstorming sessions with groups of people across the country from different backgrounds, different um, ages, ethnicities, points of view of all different kinds. Everyone has different opinions, everyone has different experiences, and if you're not willing to hear something different than what you believe, um, that's not constructive to the community as a whole. I think if you facilitate a community where people really feel like they're heard and you're interested in hearing them. I think that leads us to sort of love the person that we're arguing with just a little bit more. We all have meaning in our lives, every single one of us. We just have to figure out ways of, of finding a pathway to what that is. Yeah. As hard as it is to gather a group of people around a dinner table because of everybody's busy lives, that's what's so important about it, right? Yeah. Like we actually can sit and look each other yeah. in the eye and hear each other's stories yeah. and learn from that. You guys talk about this, like you have the option to mm -hmm. have a conversation about various religions yeah. and various political opinions and some cultures like where I come from in Iraq, you don't have that. To hear you guys like just having these conversations, it's mm -hmm. fascinating. To me, the real thing that we've got to focus on in American life it isn't so much celebrating diversity, but celebrating what we do with diversity. And that means actually learning how to deal with each other. 